So, characters. We've got Iron Man, brought to you by Black Sabbath, Captain America, a senior citizen who's obsessed with the Wizard of Oz, the Hulk, who has quite the green thumb, Thor, aka Gallagher, Black Widow, who's been hitting them squats, Hawkeye, who is the legalist to their fellowship, Loki, an upcoming LASIK surgeon, Nick Fury, aka Sam Jackson cosplaying as a pirate, and this is what literally happened in the Avengers. Loki shows up at a local software company via laser, which is, of course, how LASIK eye surgeons travel. He takes the company's technology technology for himself, wanting to use it in his practice. People aren't too happy about this, so the group experiments with cutting-edge lawn mowing techniques as a sinkhole consumes taxpayer dollars. Most of the technicians are okay, but Loki and the software are nowhere to be found. Black Widow is taken into the principal's office on account of her dress code violation, but she spent a lot of money on that dress, so she convinces them to let her wear it. Once they cave, she gets a call and heads off to India to enlist the help of the Hulk in finding the missing software. Loki FaceTimes his boss, and we find out that his ophthalmological career is on the rocks. Since his last LASIK procedure was a flop, Loki enlists the help of Hawkeye for his new one. Kind of misunderstanding the reason for I in his name. Regardless, the surgery goes well and Loki's boss is a bit happier with him. But since Loki is still new to the job, he hasn't quite figured out his bedside manner yet. Tony and Captain Rogers take a minute to explain to him that patients feel much more comfortable if they know your name first. Mr. Stark, Captain. Thor and Loki toss some Shakespeare back and forth, in the hopes of improving his conversational skills. I who was and should be king. So you take the world I love as recompense for your imagined slights. Thor wants his brother to succeed after all, but it turns out that poor conversational skills actually run in the family. They try musical therapy, <laughs> but realize it's just not for them. Noting that his anger issues are getting out of control, Loki checks into rehab while the Avengers turn their focus back towards the software theft. Natasha goes to Loki to talk about LASIK. She's tired of her eyes looking so bloodshot, but Loki is skeptical about the success of the potential procedure. Can you wipe out that much red? As the search for the software unveils that it was being used for unsavory applications. Phase two is S.H.I.E.L.D. uses the cube to make weapons. The Avengers start to crumble, bickering endlessly. While Stark and Captain put aside their differences to perform some routine maintenance at their home base. Hulk and Black Widow have a little argument, which Thor breaks up. Before anything can be resolved, though, Loki reveals it wasn't just the government who had unethical uses for the software. He used it for mind control, hoping that if his patients didn't have the will to complain about his poor bedside manner, then his practice's reputation would rise. Regretting his decision to check into rehab, he tries to destroy the facility. He fails, but manages to escape in the process. The Hulk is revealed to have a bit of a steroid problem, which explains his fight with Black Widow, but he's still not proud of it. He pulls a Cersei and shames himself by walking, naked, through an abandoned building. It turns out Loki's manipulation of the software has a flaw. If a person gets hit on the head, their mind is no longer under his control. How'd you get him out? Cognitive recalibration. I hit you really hard in the head. Freed from the software, Hawkeye tells Black Widow that while it probably would make her eyes look more attractive, it might be best to avoid becoming Loki's patient. The Avengers finally realize that what Loki wants more than anything is to advertise his practice. So they put their heads together to guess where he'll do his first commercial. Since Tony is the most famous person Loki knows, they figure Loki will try to shoot at his house. They catch him in the act, and Loki tries to upload his software to Tony, forgetting about the anti-malware application in the middle of his chest. Normally, this would have been a mere blip on Loki's problem radar, but he had already started uploading the program to his boss, who was none too happy about the Avengers trying to take it. Since the logistics of a legal suit were just a little too complicated to work out at this point, the Avengers resort to good old fisticuffs to prevent the software from going live. To protect his investment, Bossman sends quite a few people to help Loki finish the upload. Loki, who was obsessed with Phantom Menace during his teenage years, pretends to pod race as his boss gets more and more pissed. Black Widow feels a little nostalgic as well, and begins to pod race alongside Iron Man, as the Hulk and Thor work on their interpretive dance choreography. It's at this point when Big Brother steps in, thinking that if they can't have the software, no one can. Stark is not a huge fan of this, so he helps Black Widow shut down the uplink and keeps the software out of the hands of Loki's boss. As Loki accepts the end of his ophthalmology career by diving into alcoholism, I'll have that drink now. the Avengers let Thor have the highly coveted software and Loki in exchange for fancy two-seaters. And that is what literally happened in the Avengers.